In this video, we'll be replacing a front wheel hub bearing on a GMC terrain. First thing you're going to do is remove the wheel. Then you're going to remove the brake caliper. There are two 18 millimeter bolts. If you have a power tool, this will be much easier, but you can remove them with sockets. When you take that bracket off or the caliper off, you want to make sure that you hang that so that it is not hanging on the hose. So make sure that you connect that to something so it doesn't hang by the hose. Then you're gonna to need to remove the rotor. There is a 27 Torx bolt in there. Then you're gonna remove the axle nut. It is a 36 millimeter. Again, an air tool works great for that. Then you're going to remove the bolts for the hub bearing. On the back side, there are three 13 millimeter bolts. You want to make sure that you remove the wheel speed sensor that's hooked into the hub and just pull that out and you can just move that aside. You want to make sure you don't damage that or the magnetic ring that's attached. You're then going to use an air hammer to remove it. He's put a bolt in and then on the back and then he can push on it using the air hammer on the bolt to push it out. They can really be stuck in there, so the air hammer is going to be a really handy tool to have to remove that. Once you pull that off, you want to clean all the rust off of the steering knuckle. You can sand that off and then use a die grinder inside to file off that rust as well. Reinstall the brake dust shield and the new hub bearing. You're going to tighten those bolts down to 74 foot-pounds each. I'm going to Spray the hub with anti-seize spray. Reinstall the speed sensor. Use a die grinder and clean that rust off inside of that brake rotor as well. And torque that bolt down to 15 foot-pounds. I like to use a medium strength thread locker on caliper bolts. Going to reinstall the brake caliper and tighten those two 18 millimeter bolts down to 140 foot pounds each. Reinstall the axle nut. What'd you put the screwdriver for there? Uh, keep, the, keep everything from turning. Uh, you can Use a pry bar and have somebody help you. You can uh, put the wheel on, put the wheel on the ground and torque it through the wheel. Mm. And you want to tighten that to 151 foot pounds. Reinstall the wheel. Tighten the lug nuts to 125 foot pounds once you have it down on the ground. There's the uh, valve stem arrows, so you line that up with the valve stem, okay. And you're all set. 